Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. Today we're busting some myths for the brand new deployable shield. So this thing's on the test server. So we're going to take everything we see here with a grain of salt because it may change as they develop it and they'll probably develop it over a good couple of weeks. But hopefully this is going to give you a good idea of how you might be able to use this when it goes live but also how it currently is in the test server. And you guys can give me your feedback on this new shield in the comments below as we go on. So we're going to start with a strategy I've come up with for this new shield that I think is very powerful and I'm going to call it like a pocket mirror tactic. Now I think this is one of the most powerful ways you can use this brand new shield because you can use it like a mirror window. Now the way I've set this up is in cafe behind this double window in the kitchen. I've set up two Jaeger active defense systems just in front of the shield. They will act as defense because of course the big weakness to the shield is that it can be destroyed by explosives. So this will actually stop those explosives getting to the shield and taking it out making it quite hard to deal with as an attacker and it also means that Jaeger has one active defense system on himself that he can then deploy if Thatcher was to come around and try and take out his active defense systems. Now if you take cover too close to the shield you're actually going to see nothing at all but as you know if you watch my perspective video angle is very much important so all you have to do is back up a little bit and you can actually now see through and see anyone moving around in that area so it makes it very hard for attackers to push it also means because you're at this double window you can now pop out the left side the right side or the top of the shield making it very hard for the enemy to actually predict where you're going to be even though you can see through the glass slits making it a very intimidating area to push now this setup is not limited to cafe you can actually set this up on single windows double windows or you can also set up on single doors or double doors as well because all you need to do is offset the deployable shield behind the door have a couple of active defense systems on the doors frame either side or you can even set this up with a reinforced wall a shield a little bit behind it and again a couple of active defense systems in between and you put yourself a very powerful position that you can hold down almost as well as Mira you don't have as good vision but you've got that bulletproof protection and you can pop out just like Mira and do some serious damage and this should work on a lot of maps and a lot of different positions and be really really powerful I think. So now let's quick fire some basic stuff about the shield of course a lot of this is going to be very similar to the current shield because overall it works very much the same way but we'll also dive into some really cool stuff you can do with reinforcements as well that make this shield really potentially incredibly powerful. Now guys, 60% of my audience isn't actually subscribed to the channel, so if you have to be one of that 60%, maybe subscribe. Anyway, so let's start with Blitz. Now Blitz, of course, can come up and flash the shield with you behind it, and what will happen is that you get flashed. I didn't actually expect this. I wasn't entirely sure what was going to happen, and as you can see, the flash goes right through the shield. Even though I can't you know, physically really see much of them, the flash works perfectly. Now another thing I wanted to test was Nomad, because of course Nomad, she can blast people through the shield and it still works in this. Maverick, he can also come along and completely destroy the shield, no problem whatsoever. So very easy way of destroying those shields. We've also got Ying's flashes as well. So these will again, will go through the shield, which again, I was kind of surprised by. Of course, Chachanka and deployable shields are usually a good combo too. Although, you know, in this uh, the glass in this isn't going to help, unfortunately. But I really felt like I had to get really far back from the shield in order to set up the turret. And even doing it the other way around, if I actually put down the turret first, then the shield, I couldn't get any closer as well. So it was a bit annoying. If I was facing the wrong way, perfectly fine, but yeah, I would have liked to have been a little bit closer. Now, of course, we've also got bandit batteries. They can still electrify the deployable shield, which is actually a good idea because Ash's breaching round will actually get destroyed by the electrified effect. And of course, Frost can put down her Frost mats just like normal. However, of course, now the attackers can actually see the Frost mats. This is probably quite a big nerf and uh, they're relatively visible on bright maps, so it should be easy to spot them and take them out with no problems whatsoever. Now these deployable shields can also be attached to door frames, which is really good, and it means you can get this nice flush effect with the door frame, but you're not able to put two deployable shields into a double door space to fill it up entirely. Now in my initial video where I actually went over the news for this new shield coming out, people did notice that it does come up with the prompt 
letting you know that you can actually attach it to the door even though there's actually already a shield there. However, this just seems to be a little bit of a bug where the text hasn't quite updated yet. As you can see, you can see it there, but when you actually go and attach the actual shield, it just slaps it down on the ground where you're standing. It doesn't actually attach it to the door. So it's just the text hasn't quite updated. I would love to fill up a double door with two of these shields just for aesthetic reasons, because I think it actually looks really, really cool. Now on to other things. We have the deployable shield and gadgets. You cannot attach anything to it. Jaeger's active defense systems, Maestro's gadgets, stuff like that. But of course, any throwable gadget will stick to this. So Valkyrie cams, Ella's concussion mine, stuff like that will actually stick to the shield fine. Also, if you climb on top of the shield, just like the current one, it will be destroyed. This is basically just to stop it being used as an exploit in, in certain cases. But if it happens, you do get it back, which is really nice. However, there's another way that you can also destroy it, which is by reinforcing if it's close to a reinforceable wall and it'll be destroyed and you will not get it back. So make sure you know that. Kaid, just like Bandit, can also electrify this new deployable shield. And another really juicy bit of information is how this actually plays along with reinforceable walls so as you can see here you can almost get this perfectly flush there's actually a pixel peak right here between the shield and the reinforced wall so this could be legitimately good tactics if you also sidestep with it you can actually get it really close to the wall in lots of different kind of positions so you can get really really creative and on some maps this is going to be powerful of course here i've teamed up with a mirror window but you don't have to like you can obviously just have a reinforced wall and then one of these shields as a kind of budget mirror window and it should work relatively well giving you some really basically new angles you might never have had before because of that extra cover and extra vision that it actually gives you so impressive little gadget the way it works with reinforced walls at the moment on the test server this of course may change is to me really powerful the fact you can get it that close of course you do have to destroy everything for this to work really well i use a nitro cell but of course impact grenades and stuff like that too just take out all the the soft wall that could be in the way especially at the bottom seems to work really really well and i can just imagine so many different tactics coming into this and playing out in so many different ways that this is this could just be huge like this can be a massive thing for the game and a big meta change to what we currently have in game right now with the old shield so i'm looking forward to seeing what people actually do with this and how they adapt to it as well like our our attacker is going to be good against it but not only attackers because this is such a complicated device now defenders are going to have to be very wary of where they place this like imagine if you put one of these between two bomb sites and the attacking team was able to push into one site, they might actually be able to get to that deployable shield and then they can use it to actually take your guys out. So one of these in the wrong place could be really bad for the defender team and very powerful for the attackers. So it does go both ways and it really will come down to positioning and using it sensibly and smartly. If you use it wrong, there's a good chance the enemy might be able to use it to their own advantage. Now back to the quick fire. So another thing is Sledge can destroy it with his hammer, just like he could with the old one. And uh, of course, really good fast way to take it out. Ash's breaching round will also take it out as long as the shield is not electrified. Although you can also put it onto like a door frame nearby as well. The shield is also bulletproof, just like the current one too, if you're holding it. It is larger as well, so it does cover you more. So if you're missing Clash, I guess this could be a replacement right now for Clash. Not exactly a perfect replacement, and of course they can't zap as well, but probably has a very similar win rate to Clash. And of course in my news video, a lot of people were asking, can Glass shoot through these little windows? And the answer is no, they're completely bulletproof from every single gun in the game, just like a mirror window. So yeah, you're not gonna get through that. Of course, Hibana as well cannot destroy these deployable shields direct on. So if you shoot them, they're not gonna land and stick to the shield. However, if the shield is above destructible surface, you can put them close enough that the actual splash damage from those actual pellets will destroy it. Now, of course, Buck is unable to destroy the shield with his shotgun, no matter how many times you shoot it. Although, of course, he does have frag grenades and they can be used to destroy the shields. 
However, I will point out that one of the fragmentations actually has to hit the shield for it to be destroyed. And this makes frag grenades against deployable shields a little bit inconsistent because you can't always be sure where that fragmentation is going to come out of. And I think there's only about maybe six in total that can actually be hitting something. So you can easily, just like this example here, miss by even just a really cross frag grenade. But by far the best and most consistent counter to these shields is Zofia. First of all, she has a lot of projectiles. She can send lots of concussion grenades over to begin with just to take out some of the active defense systems and then she can shoot impact grenades in to destroy the shields. And those impact grenades are not affected by electrified effects, so they're gonna go and explode no matter what. So definitely a very good option is to bring Zofia if you're having problems with these deployable shields. She's gonna be able to deal with them far better than any other operator. But of course you do have a lot of options to counter this with any operator that has explosives. Now let me know in the comments what you think of the shield, its capabilities, what it can do. Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it's a you know major mistakes? What do you think the devs should change about it? And I'm sure over the coming weeks that this shield will be tweaked. But I do expect for the most part we will see this shield in the mid-season patch pretty much how it is now. But I think the way it interacts with some surfaces may change. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you happen to be one of those 60% of the viewers that isn't subscribed and you find yourself routinely watching this content, then maybe subscribe. Anyway guys, catch you next time.